wise men often tell us that nothing is impossible. I do nothing every day. Today, I am going to demystify the mysterious compander function, a function that you find on many GMRS radios. What is the compander function? What does it do? When should I use it? When should I not use it? For the answers to these mysteries and many more, we turn to the user guide. The compander minimizes noise, useful when transmitting over long distances. The what the user manual means to say is the compander is a function that makes your signal sound better. It does not make your signal any stronger. It does not make your radio transmit more fars, at least not in any way that any normal human being with a normal ear would ever hear. It simply makes your signal, your voice, sound better. To take advantage of the companding feature, or the compander, as many call it, both radios, the radio that you're transmitting from, your radio, and the receiving radio, the radio of the guy that you're talking to at the other end, both must support compounding and both must have the feature enabled. If only one radio has the compounder feature, compander, not compounder, compander. If only one radio has the compounder feature enabled, then it your signal may sound strange or too loud or weird at the other end and vice versa. When you have the compounder feature enabled, when you are listening to other people who do not have it enabled, they may sound weird or loud or just not right on your radio. Allow me to say that again so that none of the experts get confused. In order to take advantage of the miracle of compounding, both radios, the transmit radio and the receive radio, must have it enabled. And contrary to what many internet experts have proclaimed, the compander function does work through repeaters, or at least through some repeaters. It works through my repeater, and that's the only repeater that I really care about. So yes, it can work through at least some repeaters. So the compander feature is basically a simple speech processor. It makes your audio sound more clean, so that it removes some of the hiss and enhances your voice, so that you have less hiss, more voice. To accomplish this, it does some very technical things, but I am not going to bore you or try to impress you with all of that technical stuff. But don't worry, because some expert will come along without even actually bothering to watch the video, and they will leave a 10 comment long paragraph explaining it all to us lesser intelligent people, and they will do their best to try to impress us all even though nobody is really asking. Now that I have explained quickly and concisely what the compander feature or function is, allow me to demonstrate it so that you may hear how it works and what it does with your own auditory holes. To help me demonstrate the miracle that is companding, I have my friend Chris 530 standing by with his Wuxin KG935 GMRS radio in his hot, sweaty, taco-stained hand. And as everybody knows, Chris530 is the real star of this channel. His fan club is growing every day. He seems to have more fans and followers than I do. I'm not jealous. So Chris, the superstar, has his KG935. He is 10 miles away. I have my KG935G. Oh, almost forgot. This is a new radio, and I haven't even yet removed the screen condom. Oh, so satisfying. So Chris, the superstar, is 10 miles away with his KG935G in his hot, greasy, sweaty hand. I have my KG935 
with the screen condom now removed in my sweaty and equally greasy hand. And I am going to call him directly on simplex, not through a repeater, so that we can get a baseline of how he sounds because he is 10 miles away and because we're going HT to HT, that's handheld to handheld for you non-experts, the signal will be staticky. So we should hear quite a bit of uh, static in his signal. And that will be our baseline to compare to for when we enable the compander. So you can hear so ear holes. Chris, 530, do you copy? Let's uh, have you say hello to all of your fans and then give me a slow two count so we can see how staticky you are. Um, hello to everybody. Hello, Mr. 924. It's Chris, 530 from South Montana. Please two count. One, two. So as you could hear, there was quite a bit of static. He is 10 miles away. Bear in mind that I am up on a hill. Zenu has blessed me with a beautiful location for my home so that I can see the entire valley. And he is in one of the houses down below. So we have direct line of sight so that we're able to talk to each other from 10 miles away. I have to explain this and make it very clear so that all of those experts don't leave comments saying that I'm lying, that it's impossible to talk 10 miles just because those experts can't do it where they live. Line of sight, people, line of sight. Now Chris is going to enable the Compander feature on his Wuxin KG935G, affiliate link below, and I'm going to leave mine off so that we can hear how he sounds when he's transmitting with the Compander on but not on, on my radio to see if it makes any difference. All right, Chris, go ahead. Give us a three count with your compander function enabled. Roger that, sir. Enabled. One, two, three. Now, I don't know if it's going to come through the YouTubes, but he had just as much static and his voice sounded slightly not right. It was uh, slightly clippy. Not bad. It actually sounded okay. Not terrible. But I've tested it other times with different radios when Compander was on versus off on my radio. The transmitter had it on. The receiver did not have it on. It didn't sound right. But in this case, it didn't sound horrible. I will now enable the Compander on my radio so that we can compare the level of static and purity in Chris's voice to see how it sounded compared to when we both had the Compander turned off. All right, Chris, we now have the Compander on on both radios. Give me a nice slow three count so we can hear the purity in your voice. Roger that, sir. One, two, three. Two count. One, two. Now, hopefully you could hear that through the YouTubes, but there was much less static, less hiss, and more Chris, which is what we all crave, right? Thank you, Chris. Go ahead and say goodbye to all of your adoring fans. Thank you, gentlemen, for your continued support. I am pretty great. Uh, now you all know how excellent I am. Uh, thank you. Now continue to bless uh, you all. Have a good one, 69. Catch you on the other side. So as you just heard with your own auditory holes, the Compander function does work. But the question is, should you enable the Compander function on your radio? And the answer is probably not. And the reason I say probably not is because, as I already mentioned, in order for the Companding function to work properly, it must be enabled on both the transmitting radio and the receiving radio. So if it's just you and one other person that you're talking to or a small group of people and you all have radios that are Compander capable and you all have the Compander function enabled, then it's okay and you could take advantage of the more clarity that it will give you. But if you're talking to strangers on GMRS, like is often the case, most of those strangers probably don't have the Compander function enabled and it may make your audio sound odd to them and vice versa. When you're listening to them without the Compander function on their radio, they may sound odd or wrong or off to you when you're listening. So in most cases, it's usually best, on average, most of the time to leave the Compander function disabled. Congratulations, you are now a certified YouTube Compander expert.